It's almost winter outlook time here, and we're gonna talk about one of the main tools that forecasters use to determine what we're going to see this winter, and that is the El Nino Southern Oscillation. It's meteorologist Joe Martucci, good to be with you here. And let's take a look at our water temperature anomalies. This is showing how much above or below average water temperatures are in this area right here, which is the equatorial Pacific Ocean. When you have warmer than average water temperatures, like we have here, we are in an El Nino state. Now the opposite means that we're in a La Nino. We have cooler than average waters. We have a La Nina state. So let me explain to you how the El Nino works because for the first time in four winters, we will have an El Nino winter as opposed to a La Nina winter here across the globe. So an El Nino is warmer than water average temperatures. We talked about that. Normally trade winds which blow east to west push that warmer water towards Asia. However, some years, like this year, we have had the trade winds weaken, pushing this warmer than average water to South America. Now for the United States, this means we have two jet streams that dominate our pattern. We have the warmer Pacific jet, which typically runs along the South uh, uh, coast, including the Gulf Coast. And then we have the polar jet, which is coming out from Canada here. Now you see in the mid-Atlantic, doesn't always mean much for us, and typically it doesn't, but this year we're expected to be in what's called a moderate or strong El Nino, and I'll talk to you about what that could mean in just a minute. Now, I wanna show you the opposite of this, which is a La Nina. When we have that, that means that the Pacific jet is way to the west. We have a ridge out in the west, and that means that by the time these two jets meet, they stay to our north here, and that means if you're in the I-95 corridor, a lot of these storm tracks stay to our west. That means warmer temperatures as we get a lot of southerly winds with these low pressure systems. Now, because we are in a moderate or possibly strong El Nino as we go into the winter, what I do believe is going to happen is that we're gonna be talking about a pretty active storm track here, but it does look like for much of the mid-Atlantic that we're gonna have a mild start. That means from Thanksgiving all the way until Martin Luther King Day, maybe until the end of January, and then we start to see below average temperatures as we go into February and March. So if you like winter and you like snow, we're gonna talk to you more in the coming weeks about what that could mean for you. But definitely that colder air, if it's going to be around, would happen in February and in March. Thanks for watching this video. You can check out our Across the Sky podcast. We will have a winter outlook podcast for you on October the 30th. You can download and subscribe it wherever you get your podcasts.